Hey, YouTubers. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, it is, I think it's like, what, 1.30 1 now? 1.15. And it's my first vlog of the day. I apologize, but I just woke up and just started working on uh, just answering emails, going through a whole bunch of things people were yapping about, about the ghost pepper challenge. I think we're almost at 20,000 views and it's still still not even close to 24 hours yet. It went up last night at seven. Uh, I think within the first uh, six hours, it almost had a thousand likes on it. So thank you very much guys, that is awesome. I used to, uh, I guess years ago when I used to watch uh, Wheezy Waiter, uh, I used to watch, you know, he'd launch a video, I'd watch it, and then I'd go back a couple times just to see how fast his video grew. And it was like, you know, in two days, he had like 35,000 uh, views on it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be so cool. And it's happening right now to me. And I'm so happy that it's happening. <laughs> uh, and again, I guess back then he had like uh, 200,000 subscribers and it was just like, oh my gosh. And, uh, but it's funny, as time goes on, you know, I reach 100,000 subscribers and it doesn't have the same feeling as when the other big YouTubers had 100,000 subscribers. Because as I reach 100,000 subscribers, all those people that I used to watch that were in the 100 to 500,000 subscribers are all now hitting like 750 or a million, right? So I know I'm gonna possibly catch up, but we'll we'll see if I catch up to some of the, the people I've always looked up to on YouTube. Um, so this is the first time in about f like a week that I've let the cats out. And because uh, last time I let let them out, Sonny, Sonny's pretty patient with, uh, or tolerant, I guess. So she knows she's only allowed out for a little bit of time and I pick her up and put her inside. Sometimes I'll just walk behind her and she knows it's time to go in. But Louie, he has a nasty attitude problem. He actually hissed at me and then raised his paw to me as if he was gonna scratch my face. And he didn't, but uh, he was just really nasty. And that was the first time. He's always hissed when I, not always hissed when I pick him up, but when I pick him up to to bring him inside, he hisses. I can pick him up and move him. He gets he gets angry, but uh, he just doesn't like going back inside right away. But I only let them out for like 20 minutes to a half an hour. If it depends on how much of my vlog. He looked under here. I'm not sure if he saw a frog or a toad. Nope. Nothing there. And the kittens. I don't know if the kittens are out. Those kittens are my neighbors but I don't see them out. No confrontations. Nice. Yeah, let's sit on the swing for a little bit. There you go. Uh, so right now I just finished up the McDonald's um, Asian Crispy Shrimp McWrap. And I, that will go out on Tuesday. And then I also have to either work today. I think I'm gonna work tomorrow on it. The rest of the day I'm gonna go for a bike ride. I'm gonna pack my bag and just take it easy. Um, I think when I was on the website for McDonald's, I noticed that they have the new, or the returning McLobster. Uh, when I was looking for the the Asian McWrap, I was, and I saw that they had the lobster on there again. So I might disappear tomorrow at lunchtime and run up there real quick. Either run up to Barry or go back down to Bradford, probably Bradford, I guess would be best. Uh, zip down there, do the McLobster again, and just to see if it was as good as it was last year. Because last year it was absolutely amazing. I was totally blown away how good it was. And so many people, especially Americans in the West Coast, mid mid United States to the West Coast, and, you know, a lot of people just like you know seafood at McDonald's. What are you kidding? <laughs> But it was actually surprisingly amazing and people people thought I was like selling out McDonald's paid me to say that because there's no way lobster and then other people complained about the price I'm like dudes it's lobster it's expensive go to any restaurant and order a lobster see how expensive it is anyway so uh, I'll be uh, probably uploading the McDonald's McWrap today just and then have it scheduled to go up on Tuesday and then tomorrow like I said I'm definitely going for a bike ride today it is perfect there is no 
no clouds. There's a little wisp thing going on there, but uh, no clouds. I'm gonna have to definitely put on some sunblock of some kind. Protect myself before I go to Costa Rica and get fried. You're like a bunny. You look like a big round bunny. Look at that cat. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if I can fit them all in. Holy schmoly. Louie. Look at that round tubster. <laughs> Holy, he's a blimp. <laughs> he looks like roadkill that's been all bloated up from the sun. Louie. Oh good, you, you moved. You gotta stop eating all my chocolate. So it's Saturday afternoon. The sun's going down. What time is it now? 4.45. 4.45. I'm gonna go for about an hour bike ride. See how many calories I can burn in an hour. Uh, just pump my tires up to 120 PSI. And uh, just thought I'd share that with you. You know, share your PSI with people. And I got just one bottle of water. Let's see if I can use it sparingly throughout the ride. Got my phone on me just in case I got a flat or whatever and can call Carol to come pick me up. So I'll be right back. Hang on and I'll let you know all my stats. Bye. These are some of the sights I get to see when I'm on really long bike rides. Although this one isn't that crazy long, but a huge field of sunflowers. I was gonna get off at the, there's another exit like this off the road. I was gonna get off one down there, but they had beehives all set up to, to get honey from the, from the flowers. There's bees all over the place, but down there is where all the beehives are. Not going there. Just got back from my bike ride and I rode for less than 56 minutes uh, because I stopped and uh, took a picture and videotaped at the, uh, the sunflower field but it says I burned uh, 1,322 calories. Again, it's probably just a little bit less than that. It's probably like 1,000 calories, probably. And right now my heart rate's 118. So I just, I've just i only been stopped for a minute or two. And yeah, I rode, yeah, I rode for the f about 53 minutes, maybe. And I traveled 25 kilometers, not bad. So there you go guys, hopefully that inspires you to get on a bike and burn some calories. All right guys, I'm just signing off. I just wanted to share with you what we're having with, for dinner tonight. Carol came up with the idea. She's like, let's make grilled cheese, but put ham. So it's bread, cheese, ham, cheese, bread, and then you grill like a grilled cheese. So you're basically a grilled cheese and ham, and then <clears throat> then dip it in egg, and then refry it again, and it basically is like French toast with cheese and ham in it, and that's what it turned out to look like. I'm just debating on whether or not to put uh, syrup on it, uh, or ketchup. My chances are I'll do syrup and beer. Yeah, we'll put beer on that. Megan is just having a regular grilled cheese and Carol is having the same thing as me. So just turning the thing over. There we go. All right, guys. So I hope you had an awesome Saturday. I hope again, I inspired you to go for a bike ride, lose some calories or burn some calories, I guess. Can't lose calories really. Anyway, so have a great weekend and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.